Patrick was a strong boy who lived in Ireland long ago. Patrick loved God and animals. He prayed every day to God while he watched over his sheep. He prayed one day he could be reunited with his family. But for now, he would be happy being a shepherd for his master who gave him food and shelter for caring for the sheep. Patrick also studied every day. He read the Bible and learned all about how Jesus performed miracles and how he taught others about the love of God and Christianity. One day, Patrick's master came to see Patrick. He told him that a boat was being prepared to take them on a long journey across the sea. Patrick is such a fine boy. The master wants to take Patrick with him to help with the meals and cleaning. They are to leave in three days. Patrick feels very sad that he has to leave his country and his beloved sheep. That night, Patrick prays to God. Patrick prays to God that he won't have to go on the long trip and that he could be reunited with his family instead. That night, while lying in bed, Patrick had a dream. He dreamed that he would become a great teacher of God's Word. Patrick is compelled to leave the farm and head for his home. He knows God wants him to travel and teach the Word of God, just like Jesus and the disciples did many years ago. Many days pass by. There is no food. Patrick walks for 28 days, only finding small berries and tiny streams of water. He is very weak. The days are long and hot. Patrick kneels down again to pray. He asks God to provide him with something to eat to make him strong again so that he can make it to his homeland. This was a miracle. Just when Patrick asked for food, God provided him with enough food to last for many days. Enough for the whole trip back home. Patrick thanked God by singing and praising him with his song. This was the first miracle of Patrick. He performed many more miracles over many years, and that is why he became known as Saint Patrick. Patrick finally made it home and was reunited with all of his loved ones and family he had missed for many years. He knew God wanted him to become a teacher and to spread God's word. This is a quick break to make an appeal to our viewers who watch and learn from our videos. We have been making one new video every week for the last three years, being a team of very few people. This is such a huge feat for us. We were able to produce these videos using the revenue generated from YouTube and by the support of our kind-hearted viewers via Patreon and PayPal donations. The last few months had been really tough for us. There was a significant decline in YouTube revenues. The drop is almost 50% compared to last year. Here is our appeal. If you think you and your kids learn something from our videos or benefit in any kind, then please support us by making a one-time donation through PayPal or become a supporter on Patreon. Your support will go a long way in keeping up with the productions and bringing the amazing stories of saints to life. Remember, Every small contribution helps. It can be as low as $2, the price of your next coffee. Support us to keep making more videos. God bless you. One day, while he was teaching in the crowded marketplace, a woman ran up to him. She told him that the town was overrun by sea snakes. Everyone was scared and running around silly. 
Patrick had an idea of how to get the snakes to leave. He pulled out his favorite old drum. He goes to the top of the nearby mountain and began to beat the drum. The snakes could hear the low rumble of the beating drum. It vibrated the earth beneath the snakes' bellies. Now Patrick knew these snakes must have gotten lost. They needed to return to the sea. So he began marching his way away from the town toward the ocean, beating the drum so the snakes would follow. As Patrick nears the shore, the snakes see the water. Boy, are they happy. They slither one by one back into the sea where they came from. The whole town was saved by Patrick that day, with another miracle from God. Patrick prayed to God and thanked him for giving him the knowledge and the strength to lead the snakes back to the sea. Most people would have been very scared of the snakes, but not Patrick. You see, God also made him very brave. St. Patrick continued to teach the Word of God throughout all of Ireland. He traveled from large cities to tiny villages. Patrick knew he was doing the work God planned for him. Every day he prayed and trusted God to give him the knowledge to share with others. He especially liked to teach young children. This leads me to yet another miracle. It was lunchtime, and Patrick always brought enough bread to share. He was passing the bread around when a nearby well spout began to overflow. The tiny village would be flooded very quickly, but the water continued to rise. St. Patrick knew just what to do. Patrick knows that God can perform a miracle and stop the water. He dips his finger into the water all around him. He makes the sign of the cross as he prays out loud to God. He asks God to save them from the water and to make it disappear. Just then, the water stops rising. It starts to swirl down and down. The flood waters disappear almost as quickly as they rose up. All the village rejoices. They hug Patrick and thank him for performing another miracle for them. They would have all surely drowned if he had not been there. You see, St. Patrick believed in God's power to perform these miracles. St. Patrick was a faithful servant of God and spread his message of love all around Ireland. God rewarded Patrick with these miracles. If you believe in God, trust him to protect you. Anything is possible even miracles, and he give you the strength and will always provide you with what you need.